Okay, so uh, moving on to our next activity, which is task B2. It says Lucia wants to know the bookings made for the peak season. Okay, so filter the bookings worksheet to show the accommodation for the peak season. Okay, so let's go back to normal view. Right now we are in formula view. Let's switch it off. Let's click over here. All the columns get selected. Let's double click on one of the column widths. Now all the values are properly visible. So she only wants to see, let's make this also slightly bigger. She only wants to see peak season. Okay. So all the peak season uh, accommodations she wants to see. Okay. Whether it is one, two, three, it doesn't matter. She only wants to see peak season uh, accommodations. Okay. So what you can do is you can use a tool called a filter. Okay. So you have to apply the filter to your column labels or your column headings. So keep click on one of the column headings, come to the home tab, uh, come to sort and filter and say you need a filter. Okay. Now come to the relevant column, which is the season column. And over here, you can untick everything. And you can tell your computer, you only want peak season one, peak season two and peak season three visible. Okay. This is the first way to do it. Okay. So now only the peak seasons will be visible. The second way to do it is let's clear the filter. Let's clear the filter. And let's come over here. Let's come to text filters. And let's say, I want to see only those that contain that contain the word that contain the word peak in them. Okay and click OK. So now you can see all the peak seasons. That's the second method of doing your filter. Okay. Now once you're done with that, it says display only the accommodation name, season and final income. So accommodation name, season and final income. Okay. So these columns need to be hidden. Okay. So select those columns and simply right click and say hide. So those columns have been hidden. If you ever want to unhide them, can you see A, B and then it's jumping to H. There's a small gap. You can keep your cursor over there. You can right click and you can start unhiding them one by one. Okay. For now, we don't need to unhide it. Let's keep it hidden. Okay. And then the question paper then goes on to say, save the spreadsheet as task B2, print the bookings worksheet showing the values. Okay. So let's save this as B2. You can press F12 and you can save this as task B2. Okay. Then the question paper goes on to say, open a new docu new word processing document in this enter these details in the header and save the document as task B3. Okay, so let's come to your folder. Let's right click uh, new word document. It has to be task B3. Let's open it up and let's immediately go into the header. So in the header, we have task B3, your name, your candidate number and your center number. Excellent. Uh, then the question paper goes on to say, uh, Lucia wants you to create a chart to display the accommodation name and final income for peak season one. Okay, so there are three criteria. I mean, there are three requirements here. You should show the accommodation name. You should show the final income and it should only be for peak season one. Okay, so filter the bookings worksheet to show bookings for peak season one. Use this worksheet to create a suitable chart. Okay, so now. I have to further filter my data where only peak season one is visible. So let me come over here and let me tell my computer, I want to see only uh, peak season one. So only peak season one needs to be visible. Say, okay. So now you can see only peak season one is visible in my data. Okay. The others have been temporarily hidden. Okay. Uh, and now when I draw my chart, I need to select the accommodation name and I need to select the final income. So let me select accommodation name. And now while holding the control key, I'm holding the control key, I go ahead and select uh, final income. Okay, so accommodation name and final income have been selected. And now I come to insert, uh, I come to recommend. Now my computer hasn't told me what type of a chart to create. So let me ask the computer what is the best chart. Let's come to recommended charts. And I think the first one, second one is easier to understand. So let's go with the second one and let's click on OK. Okay, so the chart makes sense. Okay. Then it says it should be fit for purpose. It should have a suitable title and values. So let's give it a suitable title. Let's say uh, final income for peak season one. Let's make it look like a heading. Control B, Control U. Let's give it axis labels as well. So click on this plus symbol, axis titles. So this would be accommodation name name and uh, this would be final income final income okay 
if you want you can also show the label values you can say data label so it shows the exact value of each column okay and then the question paper goes on to say save the spreadsheet as chart okay so you can simply come and press f12 and you can save this as chart okay so that is also done and then the question paper goes on to say paste the chart into document into the into the task b3 document make sure that the chart is easy to read okay so let's copy this control c let's come to task b3 control v there you go you have pasted your chart okay then the question paper says do not print at this stage okay then it goes on to say using the bookings worksheet to display only the data for accommodation name and final income so accommodation name and final income should only be displayed use the bookings worksheet to display only the data for accommodation name and final income so we can now get rid should we get rid of the filters or not since this is continuing b3a b3b what we will do right now is we will keep the filter and uh, we will simply hide the season column okay so right click hide so we only have the accommodation name and the final income visible as they told us save the spreadsheet as task b3b so let's come and save it 12 task b3 b3b okay click on save and then the question paper goes on to say take a screenshot of the spreadsheet including column letters paste a screenshot into document task b3 do not print at this stage okay so let's simply take a screenshot print screen let's come over here and let's paste it okay then it says answer these questions in the document task b3 explain one advantage of using the sum function in a spreadsheet so if you do remember when it came to final income i used the sum function okay so using the sum function you don't have to manually click on each cell and tell what to add okay you simply type equal sum you put the range and it will add up all the values you don't have to manually type each cell address okay so let's come over here let's type the question number task b3c we have task B3C, the first question, which is uh, using the sum function, the user does not have to manually refer to every cell, okay, uh, he can simply type the range, okay. So when it's in the sum function, you can simply type equal sum and you can give the range and it will add up all those values. If you do not use sum, you will have to manually click equal A3 plus e A4 plus A5 plus A6. Manually, you will have to refer to every cell. But if you are using sum, you can say equal sum, open brackets, and you can select the range A2 to uh, A10, for example, and then close the brackets, enter. So that's definitely much faster than manually referring to every cell. Okay. Uh, the next question goes on to say the next question it says a county function sh could be used with the values for season state how the results of this function could be useful to Lucia so yes you can use count if you want to count a particular cell so for example you want to count how many bookings have been done in peak season one so you can write a formula equal count if or you can use the function itself uh, let's take an example so say for example I want to count how many uh, let's 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 unhide one of the columns let's just for the purpose of this explanation let me unhide it and let me remove all the filters say for example i want to know how many peak season ones are there okay so then what i can do is i can use something called count if okay so count if will only count cells that have the word peak season one in it so let me show you how it works let me come to count if let's scroll down and it asks me what's my range so i tell my range is from here to here then it asks me what is your criteria what are you looking for so i tell i'm looking for this particular word peak season one so now it checks and tells me that there are five uh, row, there are five cells that have the value peak season one in it so i immediately know for peak season one there are five bookings that have been made okay so over here it asks me uh, state how the results of this function could be useful to lucia so you can very simply say lucia can use this function to know how many bookings have been made for each respective 
season she will not have to manually count them okay so she will not have to manually count and see how many peak season one how many peak season two how many peak season three she can exact she can tell what she's looking for and the computer will look exactly for that and tell her how many cells have that value in it okay so it will share it will save a huge amount of time for her okay uh, don't forget to undo these changes because uh, we have to stick to what the paper told us to stick to so uh, let's keep it in its original form which was like this okay uh, then the question paper goes on to say state the purpose of a chart legend so i don't think in our chart we have put a legend let's enable the legend okay so when you enable the legend you can see if you have multiple values on your chart it will tell you what each color is depicti depicting it, it's a kind of a key it'll tell you blue color is for this red color is for this you know so since we just have one it's telling us that blue color is final income but say for example if we had final income and discount amount you know if you had various values in the chart each color will mean something else so the legend will tell us what each color represents okay so you can write over here the legend the legend would show what each color in the chart uh, represents okay so it would show what each color in the chart represents in the chart represents okay uh, save task b3 print task b3 so you can save it and then you can press ctrl v to go ahead and print it okay uh, with that we have come to the end of the spreadsheet question so thereafter we just have one more remaining uh, which is oh there is another yeah there is another one more which is uh, task b4 which is related to word processing where you will be required uh, to produce a newsletter okay so uh, see you in the next video okay